Well, hello everybody. I'm Mitch, just an old guy in a drone and a microphone reviewer. And you may ask yourself, what in the world is a drone guy doing reviewing microphones and other technical stuff? Well, the answer, the short answer to that is that uh, as a YouTube creator, I'm a consumer as well of uh, cameras and sound equipment and computers and everything else that uh, is used in the making of YouTube videos. So I needed a lavalier mic. I already had one lavalier mic, but uh, it was part of a wireless setup that I had. And I wanted a, uh, a lav to use in my studio when I do my live streams to kind of supplement my Audio Technica 2020 here. Now, when I when I do audio, I bring everything in through uh, a Zoom H6 recorder, which also doubles as a mixer and a USB input to my computer for live streaming and and into OBS. And in fact, I'm recording this on OBS right now using exactly the same setup that I do for my live streams. And the Zoom H6 recorder has XLR inputs. It provides phantom power, so you can use a little higher grade of microphone uh, that the professionals use. Well, I went, I went looking for a lav mic, and the prices were all over the chart. There was uh, lav mics for $15, $20, all the way up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars for the professional microphones, and I didn't want to spend that much. Now, I have a Comica wireless mic setup and I'm very happy with it. It's a two-channel receiver and I've got one lav mic that I use with it and I have a regular handheld mic that I use with it as well and the sound quality from that is has been excellent. So I saw this Kamika lavalier mic XLR input uh, for about $36 and I said well let me give that one a shot if it's as good as the microphone on my wireless system. Uh, it might be worth having. So I thought I'd set up a little test here. But first, I'm going to cut over to an unboxing that I did of the mic so you can see what the package looks like and how it comes. And as soon as we're done with that, we'll be right back. Today I want to do a short video, a little review of a new microphone I just got. And it's, the, it's either pronounced Kamika or Kamika depending, I guess, on which part of the world you're from. But this particular microphone is a lavalier mic, but what makes it different is it's an XLR mic, which is more for professional use because it requires uh, a device with an XLR input. Now, the higher-end video cameras all have XLR inputs and recorders like my Zoom H6, mixing boards, things like that, but it's not designed to uh, to plug into uh, directly in, into a regular DSLR with, with a little three and a half millimeter jack. But uh, I needed one to use with my mixer and uh, especially for some of these live broadcasts that I'm doing and this will fit right in. So without further ado, I want to open this thing. I haven't opened it yet. It just came. And let's see what we have in the package here. We have the obligatory silica gel. Don't eat it. And we have the microphone. It's a nice little, nice little microphone there. It's got a little foam windscreen on it. And of course the the big old XLR jack, which you're probably all familiar with. So there's the microphone. And then in here we have, it feels like it might be a little dead cat, which would be very nice. Yes, it is. Look at that. A little dead cat. Okay, so we have the microphone and a dead cat. And no instructions per se, but it does say uh, low distortion, wide dynamic range, flat frequency response, support 48 volt phantom power. So this microphone needs phantom power, which has to be provided by the device you plug into it. Uh, it's a metal mic, um, and it's got silicone wire, which makes it very flexible. 
So let's see how long the wire is on this thing because that's important. However, uh, the nice thing about these XLR things is you can plug them into an XLR extension cable and go great distances with them. But this uh, looks to be about a, about a six foot cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this microphone into my Zoom H6 recorder along with a few other microphones. Um, we're going to try it uh, alongside of my uh, Audio Technica 2020. We're going to try it alongside of another Comica product that I have, which is their wireless, uh, two-channel wireless setup. And I have both a lavalier mic and a handheld mic for that. So we'll, and then we might even plug in the uh, Rode Video Micro and do a voice comparison and let you all decide for yourself. At any rate, let's get to it. All right, I'm back. And what I've done is devised a little comparison because microphones are subjective in nature. What might sound better to one person might not sound better to another. Uh, if you're listening to these tests on a high-end studio monitor system, it's going to sound different than if you're listening out of the tinny little speaker on your cell phone. So all we can do is some A-B comparisons and uh, see how this thing stacks up to some other microphones that, uh, that I personally know. Now, I don't have any $20,000 microphones here to compare it to, but when you spend $36 for a microphone, you can't expect it to sound like a $20,000 microphone, but some of these things get pretty close and some of them are pretty good. So what I've done is I've set up my Zoom H6 right here and I'm using the four XLR inputs for four different microphones. Now, right now you're listening to me on my studio mic, which is in input number one. Input number two is the Kamika lav mic with the XLR input and that one is this little lapel mic here and I put the the dead cat on it so you can see uh, how that sounds. Uh, this other mic on this side is coming into input number three of the Zoom H6 and that one will be the wireless mic with the Kamika lav mic. And into the fourth input, I've got the old standard, a Rode Video Micro with a dead cat on it as well. And when it comes to that, I'll just pick it up and talk into it like this. So we're gonna do a test with the four different microphones and we're gonna see how they sound. So you can, you've been listening to the uh, Audio Technica uh, 2020, and uh, that is a uh, an XLR mic, mic that does use uh, phantom power as well. And now I'm going to switch over to the new Kamika lapel mic. Okay, now you're listening to me on the uh, Kamika lapel microphone. Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello, hello. Uh, if I have sibilance or popping, popping, popping sibilance, you'll be able to hear how well that handles that. Uh, the uh, dead cat seems to do a pretty good job of eliminating the popping. So that microphone right there is the Kamika Lav Mic, um, the one that we're reviewing here right now. Now I'm going to switch over to the other Lav Mic I'm wearing, which is the wireless Kamika system, so we're going to go ahead and switch over to that right now. Okay, right now you're listening to the wireless mic, and uh, I actually have the transmitter clipped onto my belt and the receiver sitting here on, on my uh, desk. And let's see how it handles a sibilant sounds, S sounds, popping, popping, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the wireless lav mic. This is the new wired lav mic. 
This is my Audio Technica 2020. And this is the Rode Video Micro. They're all good microphones, but uh, as I can hear in my headphones, they all have slightly different sound qualities to them. Uh, so let's go through it one more time. This is the Rode Video Micro. This is the Kamika lapel microphone. This is the Kamika wired lapel microphone that I'm reviewing right now. And this microphone is my studio microphone, the Audio Technica 2020. So let's finish up on the Kamika lav mic. Okay, now I don't know how scientific all this is, but, um, and I probably won't be able to judge it until I actually listen to the playback of this thing. But for $36, it seems to me to be a, a, a very nice microphone. Uh, I, I think it's probably well worth the money and uh, I, I plan to, to use it. Uh, I think that uh, uh, it would be hard pressed to find a better mic for, for the same amount of money. So I'm very pleased with it and I'm not gonna send it back. I'm gonna keep it. And this is short and sweet, but that, uh, that'll wrap it up. And uh, you can find a link to the microphone down in the description if you think it's something you might wanna buy. And as always, I'm gonna give everybody the rest of the day off and have a great day. And thanks so much for watching.